Yo, what is happening, everybody? Magnification today. I'm here, guys, with Neon Genesis Evangelion, episode 5. Uh, I was about to say 6, but no, I'm getting ahead of myself. Episode 5, um, last time, I'm posting this, like, a little bit after episode 4, since, you know, episode 4, not a whole lot of stuff happened in there, and I, you know, decided to do an extra one for this week. So, yeah, episode 4, we got the whole Shinji running away thing. And Misato, looking after him, he decided to resign and leave Nerve. But when he was about to take his train to go back home, he ended up deciding to not go on the train. And met up with Misato that was trying to like see him off. She almost was late for it. She thought she was late for it because the train was going. right? But no, he is here still. And uh, yeah, I don't know what the fuck will happen now. Like... Uh, I guess we're just gonna get straight into it and find out. Okay, uh, so yeah, let's just go, guys. Episode 5 of Neon Genesis Evangelion. Alright, everyone, so I'm gonna start the episode in 3, 2, 1, now. Let's fucking go, man. Like I said, no fucking idea on what will happen this episode. Uh... Like I was wondering last time, will Shinji, uh, Shinji's decision of leaving, will it impact things somehow? You know, because they were about to to get Ray into piloting the thing. So yeah, I wonder if that will have some impact on the story. Like you know, Shinji comes back. And Ray is already fighting <laughs> um, an angel or something. Who knows? Although, from what we've seen, she just can't fucking use the thing, right? Then she not that. All right. New headquarters starts the facility. Oh, oh! 22 days ago. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Wasn't expecting this. Wasn't expecting us to go back a little bit. Okay. Huh. This is ST. <laughs> Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Huh. What the heck? This thing is going berserk. Unit zero, huh? <laughs> huh. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit! Why not? Dude, what the heck? Oh. What 
What the heck? Wow, shit is hot as fuck. Shit. Huh. Okay. Wow, they beyond the heart. Okay. The heck is this? Oh, so she was the first child. Okay. Huh. What the heck? Huh. Could it be what? Okay, what the heck? The fucking mystery in this show, man. <laughs> the fucking mystery. Dude. The hell is that? Oh, Shinji. Our enemy? Oh, okay, that's interesting. Something like that. Wow. Huh. Wow. Oh, damn. Definitely. The burn mark from back then. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yep. Swimming today. Well. <laughs> Sensei? <laughs> wow.
What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Damn. Okay. Paying attention to your day. Okay. <laughs> wow, what the fuck? Curry with what? Instant ramen? Okay. What's up? <laughs> of course you can tell because it's bad as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well. Or penguin. They're giving beer to the penguin? What the fuck? What the fuck? A fucking can of beer. And the curry. Poor thing. Poor fucking thing. No. Oh. Okay, so he'll finally have a reason to actually go talk to her, right? Okay. Interesting. <laughs> uh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Like her father? Oh. Wow. Dude. Okay. All right. I'm liking the focus on are they they would need to do it eventually, right? Cuz she's going to be an important character. So good thing that episode 5 we are already getting that.
There are some footsteps. Leading here. Oh shit! Jesus, what the fuck? Her eye? Because we have seen uh, her with the bandages on her eye, right? <laughs> oh shit! Shit! What the fuck? Dude! Interesting that, like, she's not even, you know, uh, finding this awkward or anything, right? She was just focused on getting the glasses. Oh, see? Like, what the fuck? She's just like, huh? <laughs> I like the, the sync screen here. With, you know, the environment. They did that already in the first few episodes when Shinji was nude. This is fucking awkward as fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why she keeps the glasses. Hmm. Wait, she just left? The heck? <laughs> yeah, this girl, something is, is off about her. What the fuck? Damn. Dude. Huh. Oh. Okay. And because of that, she fucking owns, owns him her life. Uh, like what they were doing to her was fucked up in the first place, you know what I mean? But I guess she 
Hmm, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Uh, last time this was where it failed. Okay, this time, this time it worked. Oh! Okay. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Another angel. What the heck is this? What the fuck? What? What the heck? Completely different from the previous ones. Looks almost like a fucking spaceship, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. That fucking cliffhanger! Wow! Wow! Dude. But yeah, I wonder what the fuck is up with Ray. Why is she like this? They said in the beginning of the episode something interesting about her past. I'm gonna go back there and check that out. In other words... Darling, kiss me. Okay. But yeah, damn, this episode was fucking good. Holy shit. I'm sorry, but you guys will have to wait <laughs> for next week, okay? For the next episode. I am very sorry. But yeah. Alright guys, so I'm not gonna see the preview of course, but that was episode 5 of Neon Genesis Evangelion, so we got here in this episode uh, a big focus on Rei, like I said, right, they, we are finally getting some focus on her, she was finally able to sync with uh, Unit Zero, which they have been trying to do for a long time now, last time they tried, shit went down and yeah, we get that in a flashback, the thing went berserk, right, and Ikari saved Rei, and um, upon saving Rei, his glasses broke and shit, and uh, she keeps the glasses with her and stuff, right? But yeah, they mentioned here, the first child, um, she is the designated pilot for Evangelion Prototype Unit Zero, and uh, her past has been eradicated. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, her personal records were erased. What the fuck does that mean? Huh? 
her past was eradicated. So I'm thinking here, does that mean like, as in, you know, her past is in her family, all that shit, right? Where she came from, all that stuff. Or are they talking about literally like erasing? Because, okay, this might be a, a dumb theory that I'm saying, okay, guys. And if it is completely wrong, I'm sorry. But what if like they did something to her? I don't know, man. Like, I don't trust these people. You know what I mean? Like, these people are weird as fuck. These people are making children fight giant creatures in other giant things that look like uh, are alive. That, you know... I'm guessing are angels as well that are like being, I don't know, because <laughs> like the way that it went berserk, you know, zero right, and the way that it was screaming, like man, just it's creepy as fuck. If that is really like half angel, right, or something like that, basically they are putting those children because I don't know why exactly they can only be children. The pilots, what the fuck, you know what I mean? That's already a part that is weird as fuck. But they're putting them inside to control that thing that is still alive, and it's being controlled like. You know, like, it's fucked up as fuck. So that's why I don't trust them 100%, you know what I mean? Because they are, like, suspicious as heck. And I could see them doing something like literally erasing her past, right? Like, erasing her memories or something. Because she sounds like a fucking robot almost, right? She's just like, yo, Kaishimasta. You know what I mean? Like, she's just, like, very... <laughs> Um, the way she speaks and shit almost looks like she doesn't feel emotions, right? That awkward as fuck scene, uh, Shinji was on top of her and shit and she was nude and she just, she just like completely ignored that fact. She just stood up, dressed herself and went outside. You know what I mean? Like she just ignored, completely ignored that whole encounter pretty much. And they say that she's alone, right? She's very alone. She never had friends or anything like that. Because, yeah, she just has, you know, her clear objective in mind. And, yeah, she's just like, you know what I mean? She's she's not normal. I don't know, man. So, like, I wonder what the fuck is up here. If it is something where they erased her memories or something like that, that would be very fucked up. Like, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck? You know what I mean? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Soon enough, I think. Because we're getting some development for her. And that's really good. I like it. I mean, like, no, not even development. Yeah, development, of course, but, like, we're, like, being introduced to her in a way, right? Because before we only saw her. Now we're, like, really getting her story, uh, her character and shit. And, yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, and she was really mad when Shinji said he didn't trust Ikari, right? He didn't trust his father. She slapped him. Because, yeah, that looks like the only thing that she really cares about is Ikari, right? Because, yeah, the only time that we saw her showing any emotion at all was when she slapped him and where Ikari was talking to her, right? And she was, like, blushing when he was talking to her, uh, asking her if she was okay and shit. So, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, some 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 interesting stuff here, that's for sure. And we have this new angel here. Uh, They said it's the fifth angel. And this dude here asks if... They're gonna use unit zero. No, he tells them to get unit one ready. And uh, yeah, Shinji gets ready. Shinji goes outside. As soon as he goes outside, he gets shot with an energy blast of sorts. And yeah, I don't know what the fuck will happen here, but I'm thinking here, did he Did he already know? Did Ikari already know that this would happen? And he sent his son because he wants to manipulate Rei even further, and he knew that if she went outside, she wouldn't, she would get that same hit, basically, but he's like, eh, my son, he can get the hit, you know what I mean, my son, fuck him, he will get the hit, and he will not go away, because I have him under my fingertips, is that it? Like, he just has him under, under control, you know what I mean? And like, yeah. Is that uh, wow? If that's it, that's really fucked. And and Ray maybe I don't know. Ray like he he wants her to idolize him and shit, right? And he doesn't want to hurt her like that. Instead, he's sending his son. <laughs> that's at least like what I think is the case, but I may be completely wrong. But yeah. Oh, something interesting too that we got is that the the angels they are made of a different matter, right? But they have a uh, similar DNA. I think they basically they have something similar to humans that like are 99% compatible. And yeah, just some interesting stuff. And this this was a huge cliffhanger. 
I'm so fucking excited for next uh, next video, man. <laughs> next week is gonna be good. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up, comment down below what you thought, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks a lot for watching, and peace.